Welcome to the video lecture on mutagens. In this topic, we are discussing uh, types of mutagens, physical mutagen, chemical mutagen, oncogenic viruses, like uh, it includes in an biological mutations. So their types and in detail about in the coming slides. So mutagen is any substance or agent that can cause a mutation. So it may be a physical, chemical, or biological agent which is going to alter the genetic material through an mutation. So these agents, that is mutagenic agents, that damage our genetic material and leads to the abnormalities. It may be a genetic abnormalities coming through an inherited or in a non-inherited process. So mutagenic agents alter the DNA sequence basically by the different types of mutations, that is insertion, deletion, or substitution of base, or it may be a base sequences. Through this, they increase the frequency of occurrence of mutations. So frequency means if it is a one in a thousand, so then it will increase the frequency. That means 10 in a thousand molecules. So if increases with the frequency, that leads to the disease, condition in a, any organism. So on the basis of uh, way they arise, how they are going to arise in an organism, mutations are classified into spontaneous and induced mutations, wherein a spontaneous, which rise randomly in nature and may arise due to the inherited error in a DNA replication. If in an one offspring is carried, it may be from its Parent. So if mutation happen in their parent, it will be carried through an inherited process. So this will be come through in a whole genomic through an ancestral. So whereas induced mutation, it occur through an external agents in an any animal, in an any organism that is called as mutagens or mutagenic agents. These agents cause a mutation from an external sources. So th those are like we will discuss discussing in our next slides where the process of this causing mutation through muta mutation is a mutagenesis, which is an active field of research where by making use of such models, these experimental mutations were like for an different mutagenic agents are utilized. So such agents are physical mutagens, chemical mutagens and biological mutation, mutagens. So wherein physical mutagens which penetrate to an living cells, that means within the cells they can reach and affect the DNA materials. So the overall genetic material will be affected by an ionizing and non-ionizing radiations. Through these mechanisms, they can cause a mutation. This was proved by an J. Muller using an X rays. This is another one type of physical mutation in a Drosophila melanoblaster by looking at the frequency of an sex linked recessive lethal mutation in Drosophila melanoblaster. They identified this, this X ray can induce a physical mutation, physical way of mutation. So that means these radiations damage to DNA is in a two way, that is direct effects or in maybe an indirect effects. Indirect effect. So think that results from a direct interaction where the radiations directly the act on the DNA molecules. So then it will exert its effect. So in an indirect mode, this energy emitted from these radiations interact to the DNA through an middle molecule. So that means an another molecule will convey the message of its radiation. It may be reactive species formed by these radiations. Whereas in an physical mutations like non-ionizing and ionizing radiations, like in non-ionizing radiations, the ultraviolet light generate mutations like base substitution, frame shift, deletion, and duplications. Whereas X-ray can cause a mutation by 
directly affecting the DNA molecule through an absorption of energy. In this example, the radiation just make a normal cell into a cancerous through its action. So where radiation emits, touches the normal cell and then it will break the genetic material or just disturb the genetic material and make into the one cancerous cell. This will proliferate and make a tumor formation of cells. That is, mass of cells will be proliferate leads to a tumor formation. That is, tumorogenesis or cancerous condition. In a non-ionizing radiations, that means UV light is a non-ionizing type of radiation used in a sterilization and decontamination process during the cell culture and microbial experiment. We have seen that in a lab or in a for any sterilization process, we use this UV light. So that means UV lights will be used to maintain the sterilization condition. So how they can main, maintain such conditions? So that means they are the radiation. That means a physical mutagenic agent that will generate number of photo products in a DNA. That will that will inhibit the growth of any organism by acting on DNA. So this formation of dimer, the pyramid in cause distortion in the DNA structure. As we see in this figure, so where the normal DNA, double stranded DNA upon UV radiation in a replication four, that whatever the bond between this different bases, it may be thymine here as an example, it is going to be a dimer formation. So that is dimer formation between thymine thymine and it may be a thymine cytosine. So then due to this, it will prevent the formation of replication fork. So this replication fork is utmost required to a multiplication of any molecule. So then, then there is no multiplication. So cells are not going to divide, then it leads to the mutation. So ionization radiations like X-rays are the most common type of ionization radiation. They used in medical practices we have seen. So like that, uh, various purposes like uh, in an, uh, uh, for medical diagnostics also they use this and they use very low uh, dose of that X-rays the, for a very short time. So this they have practiced from a standard operating protocols. At the molecular level, the lethal dose of X-ray breaks the dub, double stranded DNA by breaking in a phosphodiester bond between the DNA. Thus, the multiple strands, thus in makeage of making of this multiple strand. So that means multiple strand can be by done by using an x-rays so if it is strand is break then there will be a no process of dna for further functional protein synthesis then if it is unrepaired it is going to affect a serious sl effects on any organism so among uh, among the different types of mutagens chemical mutagens are also like play a major role in a, this mutagenesis. So a number of chemicals are known to cause a mutation using different pathways. So they can change the sequence of DNA and there are different ways. Like some mutagens act with an structural similarity property that they mimic its property of any, any base in a DNA. So then, they will attach in place of that and make a structural changes. Whereas in some reaction, that means they directly act on a nitrogenous basis. So causing again structural changes. Some DNA molecules use the intermediate molecules. So by that they act through an indirect way. So most common type of chemical mutagens are base analogs, alkylating agents, interconnecting dyes, deaminating agents, and hydroxylating agent are used as a mutagens in a study or in an experiment models. So we'll see one by one where base analogs are the 
chemicals they are structurally similar to a normal nitrogenous basis of dna they can incorporate into replicated dna in place of whatever the normal base it was present by leading to a mispairing of dna by base pair substitution so this will be performed like form a tautomeric shift so that means there will be a keto form of any base structure will convert into the enol by converting from its a whatever the molecule present in a third position to a another fifth position so fibromyuracil as an example in this diagram if we take it it is going to change from its structure so initially it will replace in the place of thymine so then it will make a tautomeric shift from keto to enol form then during replication it will generate through through an one strand and make a mutation and this base alter in a base pairing property can be considered as tautomer so the next one is alkylating agent they are the chemical that they are the chemical act on dna by adding alkaline group so alkylating leads to that is one alkylating agent if it is present between the bases it creating a gap and cause a mutation that depends on the position where this nucleotide modify an alkylating agents so they specifically show a strong preference for an base guanine so example ethyl methane sulfonate and dimethyl amine act particularly on this bases and make an mutation within that chain so here in such in this example we can see so in in place of cytosine so there is a thymine or in place of adenine there is a guanine so this make an alteration in a in a this position of bases so this alkylating agent making this kind of changes leads to a proper that is mutation in a gene so this leads to an unfunctional protein synthesis so another forms like intercalating agents uh, like acridine dyes they intercalate between the nitrogenous bases present in an dna molecule so this position themselves between an these nitrogen bases then it will misplace the whatever the structure of dna it is paired so this result due to an addition and deletion are during a replication so they have the property of slip between base pairs if one base is addition to an double helix slightly it will unwind the helix though structurally it will change so then it will increase the distance between two different base pairs so like uh, ethidine bromide acridine orange and uh, proflavin they will be used as intercalating agent to detect any more dna molecule so there the small amount they will use then after that the dna molecules will not be used but such dyes also alter the uh, dna molecules through this mutation may occur this is what about this intercalating agents if we take any dye as an such kind of agent example acridine dyes whereas in a deaminating agent the so such cause a point mutations so by removal of amino group from bases that means deaminating so removal of aminating so removal of amino group such as adenine cytosine and guanine will be having an amino group whereas thymine lose its loss its amino group so there will be no amino group in an thymine so it cannot be de aminated so specifically sodium bisulfate which actually only on cytosine such properties make an special characteristics in an deaminating agents so by using a nitrous oxide so they can convert that adenine into an hypoxanthine so which pairs with cytosine later more than a thymine so always adenine will be paired with a thymine whereas in this condition when hypoxanthine will change its structure then it is going to bind with a cytosine 
and this results in a post replicative transition where in an example we can see at is an uh, one base pair present in a dna molecule during replication the deamination happen in an a base that is adenine base there is no mutation in another one so then during replication for formation of new strand will occur in that a cytosine will appear in place of thymine so this will continue in an in next replication strand so it will make an different base pair so different base pair leads to an an unrecognized or unavoidable dna structure that is an different gene will be synthesized through that a non functional genome will occur which lead to the abnormal synthesis so of abnormal synthesis of such any molecule leads to the no abnormal functions so another agent like hydroxyl agent as like an um, alkali agent the this uh, hydroxylating agent like hydroxyl amine add hydroxyl group to an any particular molecule they specifically add hydroxyl group so it can pair with adenine instead of guanine so by changing in one structure it changes the structural conformity of the cytosine so this agent preferably add to an amino nitrogen cytosine so creating hydroxyl amine cytosine so this creation of hydroxyl amine cytosine mis pair with the adenine creating as we seen an earlier example in this condition cg to a thymine and adenine transition mutation will occur and this transition will be occurring through the replication that mean from one replication to the third replication type so then it will be started continuing with us positions so this kind of mutations will occur in an maximum by using a hydroxyl amine as an agent so another type like uh, um, there are different ways of mutations or uh, carcinogens will be leading to and disease conditions those we consider like earlier discussed or it may be chemical or physical uh, whatever the mutagenic agents in this uh, example like tobacco carcinogens is one of the major whatever uh, cause for health effects so that means tobacco is mainly commonly uh, known as nicotinogenous plants there are more than 70 species are known from this species whereas um, very uh, known species is nicotina tobacco so this nicotina tobacco will be used in a different sources for consumption through a different mode so it is predominantly mentioned as negative effects on human health and concern about human health of tobacco as a very long history so as as per who this tobacco is known to be as a single greatest cause of preventable death globally so they can consume it if there is a any uh, uncontrolled conditions they can be come into the control by making use of some of the medicines so tobacco leaves are mainly used for used in smoking in the cigarettes and they also consume through an good can they chew tobacco from an their lifestyle practices so where tobacco associated smoke contains several carcinogenic pyrolytic products so carcinogenic pyrolytic means they will be a reaction when with the heat the these compounds when the reaction with the heat when they flame it these compounds will be converted and they bind into the dna and cause a mutation within the gene of interest gene of any particular specific gene which they are going to act in a dna so this potent carcinogens are will be a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons such as uh, benzopyrin so these molecules may kill the cell or cause a genetic mutation so that means there will be two option the genetic mutation may occur or it may kill the cell so both leads to an abnormal or disease conditions 
So overall, this mutation which is caused through this carcinogenesis inhibit the programmed cell death. So the cells will be arranged in a way that there will be a specific lifetime for them. So if something that not, not happened, it will lead to an increased number of cells through an proliferation so and become an cancerous tissues by making an cancerous cells. That means programmed cell death is considered as apoptosis. If there is no apoptosis in the cells, it will gradually occupy. So then will be the mass of cells will become a tumor. This tumor formation leads to a cancer conditions in a different tissues. And this is about uh, tobacco carcinogenesis in general. So oncogenic viruses are also we can consider as a biological uh, weapons or biological um, agents in a mutation. So these are microscopic, uh, generally parasitic. They depend on someone, some host. So they are very smaller than bacteria, like more than ten times uh, they are uh, smaller than bacteria. And of course, the main characteristics they lack the capacity to live in an live in an its own because they depend for its replication or for growth and for life on the host cell or body. So they have to make a host within the, like any living organisms. So they lack the capacity to grow and reproduce outside the host cell. These viruses have ability to cause virus. These uh, oncogenic viruses have the ability to cause cancer. So that means oncogenic viruses can be like mentioned as they can cause a cancer and they are greatly responsible for more than 20% of total cancer cases globally. That means among the cancer cases, 20% are from, from through these oncogenic viruses. If they will be having DNA and RNA genomes. If it is a RNA genome, they consider as retroviruses. Whatever the genome they contain, DNA or RNA, if cancer causes from that viruses can be considered as tumor virus or cancerous virus, where normal proto-oncogenes become. So in such conditions, the normal proto-oncogenes, which will be in a fun normal function, become a overactive, overexpressive oncogenes, and such overexpression lead to a mutation in genes and lead to a cancerous state of any particular cells. So the, there are different can, viruses, they do not cause cancer in an human and animal wire, on animals because they are from a long coagulation, they have been between the virus and the host. That means this viral DNA or viral genetic material will be replicating within the host. So they will be understanding between that whatever the genome. So it is not going to cause anything to such host. And this coevolution has made that there is no cause of cancer or any other diseases. Among different type of DNA or RNA genome containing viruses, there are seven different viruses like considered as major oncogenic viruses causing human cancers. Those include hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, human papilloma virus, EBV, HHV8, MCPYV, and human T lymphomic virus type 1. These majorly cause an oncogenic cancers. That means that tumor property with by an viral particles. So this cancer from viral particle may prevent definitely be through an vaccination. The against some against some virus, there is already a vaccination. If it is an unknown virus, they have to develop a vaccination. So that will be designed the vaccine through an proper diagnostic through an blood samples or any sample test. So, and can be treated gradually using a less toxic antiviral compounds. Less toxic means the whatever the toxic uh, mo toxic molecule which is going to treat is sufficient to decrease the growth of a viral in a host. That is enough to 
treat the cancer and to stop the growth of viral and to stop the disease in an, any condition. So these are the general properties of oncogenic viruses and about the mutation, which are going to cause through a different kind of uh, mutagens that is physical, chemical or biological mutations considered. So this, in this slide, uh, there are some exercise out of this uh, like discussions. So we have selected few questions. We have to mention what is the exact answer in the, that is particular question. So that means alkylation leads to what? Of affected base. So you mention in your query box using a student portal. So mention question number one, then answer in against to that one. Don't write full question, just mention question number one and answer to that one. That means example number three. What is the answer? You just write it. This is what the exercise or um, study questions I have given out of this discussions. So I hope you are going to answer these questions out of listening to these lectures. So this is the references used for this preparation of a lecture and thank you very much.